everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is. All of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23 So, um, I posted why are they acting so messed up on my other channel. The, the, um... The link will be in the comment section of this video, but okay, this is for the month of March 2020 for all zodiac signs. So this is gonna be, whoa, let me see what that is. Oh, Nelly. Okay, the nonsense in the reverse card. Okay, nonsense. Okay, so pretty much, why do they, this, this reading is gonna be, why do they say one thing and then do another? Why don't they take action on their words? So you got nonsense in the reverse. That's actually pretty good. So let me see. This is for the collective for the month of March 2020. Why don't they why don't they walk the walk, talk the talk? Why? In the month of March 2020. Why are they not following through with what they promised or what they said they wanted? And you got 33 nature communication. Okay, you can't go back to yesterday. Okay, let me pull a few more. Keeping up. Whoa, cards are trying to flip out everywhere. Let me see. What else? I want to pull a few more. Don't drink the poison. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is for the collective. So each one of you, your scenario is going to be different at different times. You know, each of you are going to have a different scenario in the month of March 2020. You guys may want to come back and watch the videos because um, there may be, a, you know, there may be a new message for you. Let me try to move these around so you guys can see all the cards here. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few of the tarot, the traditional Rider weight cards in regards to this. So you got nonsense in the reverse. So it's time to talk sense. So this is nonsense in the reverse. So if it was upright, that would mean that the person is not, this person's bullshitting you on purpose all the way. And then how this, how that uh, Alice is holding the Queen of Cups, it could have to do with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio man or woman. That's BSing you, or that's, I mean, that's not BSing you. Maybe they just have a way, a different way of operating, because we got it in the reverse. And if you're cross, like if you're, if you're watching for your partner and they have to be a water sign, maybe they're not BSing you. And water signs, maybe they're not BSing you either. So let me see. In, okay, clarify this nonsense in the reverse for the month of March 2020. Three of Swords, okay. There's a delay. Okay, maybe somebody can't do something because they're delaying it or they could possibly already be in a relationship, but it says that you know about it. Yeah, this is, they're talking sense, but there's, oh, I don't think you guys can see anything. Okay, they're talking sense, but they got, they're delayed in what they can do. So maybe some of you are waiting for somebody to get a divorce. Maybe you're waiting for someone to leave a third party situation. And that's what that's about. And then we've got nature communication. Flower energies, fairy energies, elemental message messengers. Let me see. So spirit's trying to communicate with you about your situation. Let me see. What, clarify this card. Clarify for the month of March 2020. Why is the nature communication card here? Yep, you're getting messages from spirit. Spirit's trying to tell you something. What are, is this a warning or is this a positive? Is this a go or is this a no-go? What? In which way? 
tops. Okay. About who? About what? Okay, temporary. They're saying be careful because you got somebody coming from the past. Um, that might be trying to offer you something, but maybe it's not exactly the offer that you're hoping for. I feel like Spirit's trying to warn you. Um, guys, what, I, what I've been getting for the past three weeks, I am not even joking. You know that Journey song, um, Foolish Heart? Just the only part of that song that I keep getting in my head, and it's not for me because I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I'm in a relationship right now, so it's not for me, I don't think. But it's been going on. For weeks now it says you've been wrong before don't be wrong anymore so that tells me that either there's red flags that somebody's not seeing and i just heard it now that's why i'm mentioning it um maybe there's some red flags about somebody from the past that you're with and they're coming back now so they're saying you've been wrong before don't be wrong anymore like just you you've been down this road with this person they're still the same person they haven't changed just because they said they changed doesn't mean that they changed so they're just saying be careful with this person because I feel like your spirit guides and everybody else are trying to warn you to stay away from this person. It could be music. It could be just like how I just said, I keep getting that in my head. So pay attention to the songs that come on the radio, you know, um, back when I had this, uh, I had a Capricorn ex that was stalking me very, very hard. Um, I would always get that song, that X is an O song. Um, I forgot the girl's name. I think I'm going to put the song in the in the comment section it's like x's and o's they won't leave me alone they always want to come but they never want to leave x's they haunt me um it's you know it's basically like saying that this person cannot get rid of their ex or their ex just is always trying to get at them whether you can see them or not they're always just like stalking and being weird so for some of you that might be the case as well so now let's do you can't go back to yesterday so for some of you, so much has gone on with, with a situation. Maybe you did something or they did something. It's hard for them to just go back. So what any what, what somebody can do is you can't... Okay, I'm getting a lot of things all at once, so I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit. So what I'm getting here is be in the present. You can't go back to yesterday. So like, let's say there was infidelity, lying, cheating, craziness going on, and you decide to take the person back. They said that they were sorry and they want to move on. They want to live for, for today and moving forward. You can't go back to yesterday. So what it's saying is if you really cannot forgive this person, if you really can't get past what was done, what was said, then don't then do not do it. Don't be with them because you can't go back to yesterday. So let me clarify this. Clarify the can't go back to yesterday, the 44 card. Also, that's the archangels. 44 is the archangels. Okay. Be in the present. Okay, it looks like somebody's holding on to the past and that's why they can't fully commit or fully give their true love to you. Or, you, or they can't give their true love to you, or you can't give it to them because of something that happened already. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Somebody's in their head about what happened. So there may have been cheating, lying, some sort of deceit, some sort of BS. Yeah, some sort of scandal that was being attempted. Let me see, what was it? Oh, this card just fell, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, somebody didn't go all the way and cheat, but you could tell that they were about to. Maybe you saw filthy, dirty messages. Maybe you saw somebody talking to their ex or talking to somebody else in the DMs. Something happened here. Maybe somebody didn't go all the way sex. For some of you, they did. For others of you, they did not. They basically, okay, well, not everybody's like me, but I consider even liking another woman's picture cheating. I consider texting another woman cheating. I don't believe that men should be allowed to have female friends, but those are my beliefs. And I'm not saying that my beliefs are correct or healthy or normal, but I have my deal breakers. I know in 2020, you know, you guys like to have side chicks and side dudes and, you know, that's like the norm now, I guess. I don't play that shit. Um, I have access to everybody, you know, if we're going to be together, I need your phone number, you know, every phone number you have. I need access to all your shit. I need passcodes until I feel secure enough that we could move on. So that could be tomorrow. That could be in a million years. But yeah, but those are my personal deal, deal breakers because I believe if somebody's got nothing to hide, then they hide nothing, as Dr. Phil says. So for some of you, you don't trust somebody and you're not going to be able to, either this vice versa. And then you got keeping up, 40. Okay. Immense effort and advance. Immense effort, advance, keeping up. Somebody's trying to keep up. Let me see how so. Why is... So this reading is going to be what, what's preventing somebody from not, you know, talking the talk, walking the walk. Why do they 
promise something, offer something, or act like they're going to do something, and then they don't do it. This is what the premise of this is. Okay, keeping up, keeping up. We'll clarify this for the month of March 2020 for the collective. What is this keeping up? The devil? Keeping up with the Joneses. The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to live up to their to a family member's, uh, you know, a family member's uh, expectations. Possibly somebody's got family members that are maybe uppity or they admire their relationships and they want to have a relationship just like their families or their families think a relationship should be conducted a certain way or... And then, yeah, the Ten of Cups, it has to do with somebody's family. Keeping up. Keeping up with somebody's family. Keeping up with a family approval. So for some of you, you could be a daughter-in-law, a son-in-law, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. You're trying to keep up with somebody's expectations. Or somebody feels major pressure from their family. Like, get married. Get married. Why don't you marry him? Or why don't you marry her? This could either be... The, the son-in-law, the daughter-in-law that's getting the backlash, or this could be the son or the daughter. Or a, a brother, a sister. So there's some, some sort of family obsession with, with who somebody should marry. Matchmaking, um, like this person's perfect for you. Maybe on paper, but if the sexual chemistry is not there, it's just not there. Now, this card just fell. Let me see. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, somebody wants to be able to organically go for who they want to be with. They don't need anybody telling them who they should be with. Now, do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. Okay, so guys, I got this card oh, a few months ago. So I was getting this card, literally, I would take, I got this brand new deck months ago. I would literally take out this deck and every time this, card would come out and I would get so pissed off and I would get so fucking paranoid right do not drink the poison do not do things you know are bad for you and guys I was stirring and freaking out I'm upset I'm clarifying I'm freaking out um as you, most of you know um most of you guys that are on my channel you guys are very intuitive you guys are psychic you guys are like you guys are top of the line we don't, you know, there are no spiritual dummies that watch my videos. You all, I, I would say all of you are as enlightened as I am, if not more. That, and that's my honest opinion. You guys are spiritually gifted. Okay. So I was talking to a friend of mine. She goes, Jamie, well, we were video chatting. She's like, Jamie, um, she's a client, but I consider you guys all friends and family, as most of you know. You guys are in my business and I'm in yours too. So <laughs> that's just the dialogue we have. We're like, oh, they're like, oh shit, Jamie, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I just keep, they're like, do you want to, do you want me to pull a few cards? I'm like, yeah, if you can. So they did. And it kept coming up the psychopath that I posted videos about already. So this card kept saying, don't go near the person. They're sick in the head. They're sick in the head. I would get the devil, the devil, the devil, and then the hierophant, the devil and the hierophant. So anyway, so back to you guys. So do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. Guys, so that could mean do not enter into relationships that you suspect are bad for you or that you believe are bad for you. Don't put substances in your body that you're having a bad reaction to. Like don't, if there's a certain vitamin you're having a bad reaction to, don't take the vitamin. If this is a person, if this person makes you feel worse about yourself or this person seems psycho or weird or crazy, don't drink the poison, don't do it. Or if you guys are happily married or happily in relationships, but other people are butting in to talk bad about your partner, don't drink the poison. Just even hearing gossip like that, when it's unfounded and when it's coming from jealousy, can destroy your relationships. Maybe somebody doesn't like what's being said about them. And maybe that's the reason why they're not moving forward with you. Maybe you're being poisonous to someone. Maybe it's your words. But let's see. Clarify. For the month of March 2020 for the collective, clarification on this card. Okay, taking somebody back from the past. Six of cups. Let's see what else. Clarify for the collective for the month of March 2020. This don't drink the poison. And then eights to me are karma, karmic relationships, karma and destiny. Let me see. Don't drink the poison. Clarify for the month of March 2020. Okay. And then you got the lover's card in reverse. So this could be a karmic soulmate. This could be a soulmate. This could be a twin flame. This person is a part of your path. They're going to be stepping in front of you if they have not already. You guys might hit it off immediately and instantly. Let me see. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. So a bunch of cards just flew. 
So I'm going to tell you, there's only four, there's maybe nine cards on the floor now. I'm going to tell you what the, um, the, the one, two, three, four, four, five, no, four, four cards are upright. So I'm going to tell you what they are. The first one is the page of swords in the reverse. Now the second one, I'm going to do it in order, is the king of pentacles upright, which could be a king or a queen. Then you have here the eight of wands in the reverse, which is arrows of jealousy and envy. Then you have here the nine of pentacles. So somebody could be coming into your life because maybe somebody from the past, maybe they're not doing so well. Because why would they be envious of you being independent and successful? Why would they, why would that be the case? Right? Um, so yeah, so they're saying don't drink the poison. Don't take somebody back from the past. If you know somebody's money grubbing or thirsty, don't take them. If you know somebody's not on the up and up, don't be with them. If you get any inkling of this, trust it. And then I just picked up the other three cards um, off the floor, but I turned them over. So it's the Page of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Fool card. So this could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, a, a Sagittarius, or this could be anybody who wants a new start or a new beginning with you. Judgment. Use your judgment. Think about it before you do it. Don't drink the poison. Now, shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. I just heard that just now, just as I picked that up and I was reading it, it says you got to fake it till you make it. Some of you might be on some shaky ground right now, emotionally, mentally, you know, maybe you feel betrayed. Maybe you feel like you got suckered or like, uh, like you really got, you got freaking played. Like some of you feel like, wow, I was stupid. Like I was really, really dumb. I shouldn't have trusted this person, you know, now I'm embarrassed. Some of you, I'm getting workplace romances. Some of you were involved in a workplace romance and now you feel dumb because everybody was sleeping with that person at work. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh. Okay, let me see. Clarify this shine bright like a candle. What this is saying is basically, this too shall pass. Three, three plus six is a nine. Nines are, it's completions. Tens are a new beginning. Else. Clarify, clarification for this card for the month of March 2020. Okay, shine bright like a candle and it's upright. So it's saying here that nobody nobody can put out your flame. Even if you do have a little bit of a setback, a little bit of a heartbreak. Well, okay, cards flew again. Let me see. Only, wow. Only one, okay, three cards fell. Only one of them is upright and it's in the reverse. That's the six of swords in the reverse. In the Rider weight deck, Six of Swords in the reverse. The definition of this card is unwanted public declarations or proposals of love. That's in like, in, it's also embarrassment. It's like this person outed me or um, somebody, you know, somebody told their wife and now they don't want to talk to me or somebody told their husband and now they don't want to talk to me. Or it's like, um, oh, so-and-so said that they were just using you for, so somebody's like, Maybe some of you jumped the gun and you're like, yeah, I love this person so much. And, you know, we're going to be together and maybe a coworker. Yeah, with the three of pentacles here. Possibly a coworker notified you like, hey, you know, I've been sleeping with that guy or that girl for weeks, months, for a year. Or she sleeps here. She sleeps with these five or six over here. So I know you think it's love, but they're doing it with everybody. Now, let me see what these two cards that fell are. Turning them over. Okay, we got the queen of wands upright. And then we got the chariot card in the reverse. You got two cards that have to do with transportation in the reverse. This has to do with work. Some of you wanna quit your jobs, get out of your jobs due to embarrassment because of this, but it's saying, stand up straight, put your shoulders back, comb your hair and put that fucking lipstick on. If you guys have a little glitter, put a little glitter on too. And walk yourself into work and act like nothing happened. That's what you need to do. Shine bright like a candle. Don't let any of this weird embarrassment or anything like this hold you back. Also, I want to say on the other hand, don't let pride sabotage you. Some of you are thinking, how can I show my face after that happened? I'm so embarrassed. People, people do embarrassing things all day, every day. So, I mean, it's, it's no big deal. So shine bright like a candle and don't let anything dim your light, dim your shine. Also, you guys need to understand that, you know, weird things happen all day, every day. So you guys can't really, don't hold on to that because there'll be a new embarrassing situation that happens for someone else. Embarrassing things happen for me all the time. Um, 
I was doing a reading for somebody on video chat and my three-year-old walked up behind me and ripped off my wig. Now imagine how embarrassing that is, right? <laughs> I was trying to open a, a toy for my, my kiddo and the neighbors were outside and I, and I pulled it so hard and it, my hand smacked up and hit me in the face and my nose started bleeding. I mean, all sorts of embarrassing things, hap things happen to me every day, but you guys are probably like, Jamie, you're a clown. You're used to that shit. Um, that's probably true. But yeah, so you guys, I like that the Shine Bright Like a Candle is the last card here because that can also go with any of these cards, any of these, because all of you can shine bright like a candle and you should. Don't let anybody dim your shine. And then with this Shine Bright Like a Candle and then the work card, that also makes me think that some of you are, are um, about to get a promotion or maybe your coworkers know that you're about to get a promotion and they don't like that. So what they're gonna try to do is dim your shine make you wilt away instead of having you bloom beautifully they want you to be a wilted flower in the corner they want to call the shots they want to bully you don't allow this to happen all right guys jamiesieber23.com please like share subscribe and comment um i also posted new videos on my other channel all right Hi, Tess, Jamie Zebra 23 sorry to interrupt the reading but if you guys are interested in a personal reading you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video and it tells you um where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus, I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video, and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds, and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading.